An attempt to end the teachers' strike flopped again. Treasury and Ministry of Education officials, representatives of the Attorney General and the Teacher Service Commission failed to appear before Parliament's Education Committee. Only the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Public Service and the unions were present in the closed-door meeting that sought to unlock the stalemates. This government is using delaying tactics and we don't know whether this government wants to plant this country into a crisis because the parents of this country are now impatient. In a letter to the clerk of the National Assembly, the government officials said they would instead be meeting a cabinet subcommittee set up last week to address the ongoing industrial unrest by public workers. The committee, which is looking into the teachers, lecturers and doctors' strikes, has so far failed to make any headway. Despite a series of talks that began on Saturday, the cabinet team is yet to come up with any clear direction. We have therefore as a committee resolved that before we go on recess, we would want this matter sorted out by the government. And we are asking the government and all the stakeholders that we are giving them another chance on Thursday at 10. We are just giving our teachers the assurance that let us brace for hard times because the situation is going to worsen given that the government has shown little commitment in resolving the crisis at hand. If government thinks we will wear out in the course of time so that we go back to class and accept uh, their terms, then it is mistaken. This as the Kenyatta National Hospital sought to clarify that about 200 medical consultants pulled from the University of Nairobi College of Health Sciences and the Kenyatta National Hospital have not been on strike and will not join the strike as intimated by the Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacists and Dentists Union. Kenyatta National Hospital has also directed all the registrars and doctors to report to work by Friday to commence dialogue on the matter. The management has committed to engage the Ministry of Medical Services to consider reinstating practicing rights, salaries and withdrawal notices to vacate the houses for doctors and registrars who will report on duty by Friday. The senior consultants in these two facilities uh, they are saying that they don't want to have the patients in this country suffer and that uh, they will continue providing services. And uh, they are praying that uh, reasons should prevail, that dialogue is the way forward, and they are saying that the research should come on board. The union had on Monday faulted claims that consultants did not join in the strike as planned. Nothing could be further from the truth all over the country. Consultants have been the primary witnesses of this uh, failed healthcare infrastructure. This as dons maintain that the lecture strike and that of non-teaching staff was still on. Salim Bilu, Citizen Live at 9.